brought to you by GTA. We start with you. This mission was always uh, intended to expire. Uh, the military isn't really a permanent option. It's just a support role until the, the civil authorities can regain their traction. Guam National Guard Public Affairs Officer Mark Scott says with an expiration date of December 31st, the Guard has begun a process of backward planning to hand over several missions to the civil authorities. Like when we put up those tents, we had public works on hand to train them how to inventory it, how to assemble, disassemble it. Uh, so when we go, uh, there's continuity. But what if the civil authorities can't handle taking over operations? Scott says there are options to extend their assistance. They can also go on state-funded state active duty, which he says they already have folks working with the governor's office to look at the cost. But they're still making their preparations in case their mission does expire. While we still train and while we still uh, get ready to retrograde, we have to be prepared to also um, hand it over. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tyler Matsunani. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.